America loves SUVs. Chevrolet obviously wants you to buy one of theirs. And to increase new member to its already sizable SUV lineup that wears a familiar name from the past. This is the all-new 2019 Chevrolet Blazer. When we last saw the Blazer, it was way back in 2005, which was the last year of the old body-on-frame model. But now it's returning on a unibody platform powered by a standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder with 193 horsepower or an available 3.6-liter V6 packing 305 ponies and 269 pound-feet of torque. Both engines come mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission with front or all-wheel drive. With the V6, Chevrolet is estimating that tow capabilities will come in at 4,500 pounds. To visually duke it out with the likes of the Ford Edge and the Nissan Murano, the Blazer gets a wide stance, strong grille, sculpted sheet metal, high belt line, and wheels that range from 18 to 21 inches. Sporty RS models will wear black exterior accents, while range-topping Premier versions will get a tasteful helping of chrome. Like the outside, the Blazer's five-passenger cabin gets different trim and color accent touches depending on model and features a sliding rear seat, available panoramic roof, and hands-free power liftgate. If you need to carry a bunch of stuff, folding the second row seats opens up 64.2 cubic feet of cargo space. In the center stack, the Chevrolet Infotainment 3 system is standard with an 8-inch center touchscreen, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. And to juice up smart devices, the Blazer will offer wireless charging and up to six USB ports. Available safety tech includes adaptive cruise control and a rear camera mirror. If you happen to be a Blazer fan and have eagerly been waiting for its return, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because a new Blazer won't be hitting dealers until early 2019. We'll surely find out more details about it as we get closer to its on-sale date, like pricing. It's too early for that, but if I were to take a guess, a base price in the low $30,000 range, similar to the Edge and Murano, is likely.